Our discussion of the Texas Symposium, which is uh, coming up a little bit later in the month of November, the 14th to be uh, exact. James Harkins, who's been on with General Landoff, is talking about it all week. And also we have author Jeff Kerr, who's written the book uh, A Seat of Empire, uh, talking about a bunch of different stories about the founding of Austin. But also today you're talking about one of the uh, discussion topics there at the symposium, the Pig War. The Pig War. Um, which I have to say I haven't heard much one, about. One of my favorite stories, when I first heard about it, I imagined pigs wearing steel helmets and carrying machine guns. But that unfortunately, it's uh, it it really relates about to a, uh, a personal feud between the French Charge Day Affairs and a local innkeeper. Can you talk briefly about it? Now, obviously, at the symposium, the point of the symposium is you'll be able to talk about it at length. Well, the, the French guy thought he was being gouged on his hotel bill, so he didn't pay it. And later, uh, Bullock, Richard Bullock's hogs got loose in the French man's um, vegetable garden. And so uh, the French guy actually killed a couple of the hogs and served them for supper that night, um, which, uh, which did not go over well either. And uh, it ended in humiliation for Céline, the Frenchman, who had to leave town in disgrace. Well, again, one of the amazing stories, and we've been talking about this, James, this week. One of the uh, ideas behind the symposium, as we look at some pictures there of, of the uh, disgraced Frenchman in the Pig War, is... This is Austin history and Texas history that maybe we didn't know about or maybe we've forgotten about. It really kind of brings it back to the forefront. Right. This is the sixth year that we've done the Save Texas History Symposium. And we have really make sure that we bring in stories that people don't really know about Texas history, some of the lesser known tales. And I think the Pig War is a great example. We're also... Uh, this year talking about, uh, we had Doug Dukes earlier on this week who's talking about the Servant Girl Annihilator who is a uh, mass killer mm -hmm. in Austin. We're also talking about the construction of the Capitol and uh, the destruction of the previous Capitol building. And we've, it's a really great event to kind of learn a little bit about Texas and Austin history this year. And, and for people like you, Jeff, who are going to be presenting and talking at these events, who love Texas history, who've told so many of the state stories, it's got to be just a, an amazing event for you to participate in and hear some of the stories. Well, it's a wonderful experience. Yeah. I was lucky enough to be included last year and was able to go down and spend some time and had a wonderful time, and uh, James was nice enough to invite me back this year. Mm -hmm. History buffs, uh, I think, uh, would love something like this. I mean, again, you're going to learn some things, but also just to hear some of the stories you may be familiar with so you can pass them on to other people. We yeah. also have a big party afterwards. There, there is a big party afterwards. At the Capitol Visitor Center, there is a uh, special fundraiser uh, reception that uh, Commissioner Bush will be at. Uh, we also have a couple other uh, cele special celebrity guests. Uh, hopefully Dave will be joining us, the, <laughs> the biggest celebrity I know. And uh, we'll, ha we'll have uh, several people who can tell, share their story. Bruce Shackelford from Antiques Roadshow, uh, Dr. Douglas Brinkley. And really it's going to be a good way to be around other Texas history enthusiasts, people who are interested in Texas history, and the most important aspect of all is raise funds for the Save Texas History program, yeah. which uh, is put together to uh, conserve historic documents and maps at the General Land Office so they're around for future generations. And we see uh, sometimes the maps you guys and documents you have there, it's amazing living history because you've been able to preserve it, so that's a very worthy cause as well. Where can people uh, get the tickets? And you can go online to savetexashistory.org and you can register right there. The VIP tickets are still available for a little bit more, and uh, it really is a great uh, way to uh, raise funds for Texas history education. All right. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Looking forward to it and enjoying talking about it all week long. We're going to be right back. We're going to take one last.